So my fiance just graduated from esthetician school. Congrats to my beautiful fiance. She went to school for like at least four months and I know it could be a little intense not doing anything else but going to school from nine to five. So as soon as she graduated, we said, let's take off. So I took off a whole week um, to uh, celebrate her, her graduation. So make sure to follow her on Instagram and book your next appointment because she is amazing. Thank me later. But I'm back and today is Friday the 13th. And I don't know if you guys believe in Friday the 13th being a lucky day, but for me, I see it more like I'm about to do a horror, tattoo, crazy, dope project. And that is the way I see it. So um, I was not planning on working today, actually. Uh, but uh, a couple days ago, I said, you know what? I want to do a crazy tattoo. I haven't done a horror piece in a while. So I posted on my DM. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I posted on my Instagram and I said, Whoever is interested in getting a crazy piece on Friday 13, hit me up. And then my DM went, Vroom! and I got a little concerned, you know, but I definitely got good advice from this guy, and uh, he uh, was giving me complete freedom to create something crazy. So we ended up coming up with this concept here. Boom! Look at that. Look, oh my God. I so excited i mean look at the bonfire look at that look at that i mean this piece has everything i like contrast and texture so uh i'm excited i mean uh, there's nothing else to say but to get this day started let's go So those who are wondering what kind of uh, stencil machine this is, boom! Oh, thermal imager. I try to find like uh, where they sell it, and I'll, I'll put a, I'll put the link in the description. But yes, yes. Now that we have properly, meticulously shaved his leg, I am now ready to apply the stencil. Three fingers, sass. and. Boom. One. Boom. Perfect. Nice placement. I like. All right, I'm gonna have you stand up and I'm gonna have you check out the placement. Make sure you like what you see. Yes. <laughs> it's like, yes, I like. I'm gonna go ahead and start with adding my darkest tones on the outside of it, rocks and everything. And then at the end, I'm gonna add my yellow uh, color. And then as far as the outside, like on the, on the ground and the rocks on the, around the bonfire, I'm gonna add like a reflection to it. Give it the illusion that it's glowing. For this, I'm gonna be using my 14 round liner, running my voltage at 5.0 so right now I'm mixing my red and my yellow I'm gonna start on these edges right here
And all I'm doing right now is kind of creating a map of the fire. I just want to see where the flames are going to go. And I'm doing that with my orange uh, color or mixing my red and my yellow to create this orange color. And I'm doing my map with that. I'm just dipping in my yellow so my orange is getting lighter and lighter by the time I reach the center of it, it's gonna be pure yellow once you're able to follow your instincts and be able to make your own decisions as far as like what you want to do in certain areas and add your own texture that's when you're gonna be able basically to take your artwork to the next level because then you don't need to rely on a reference anymore now you're able to just make your own decisions and say you know what if I do this in this area and if I do that it's gonna make my tattoo look better because this is my style and this is the way I visualize this looking you know so um, you can do any concept and it could be your first time doing it and you you're gonna be confident because you know that you're gonna be able to add your own twist to it. So this is what I'm doing right now. I mean, I've bonfires. How often do you get to do a bonfire? You know what I mean, so I'm just having fun with it and making sure that I add the right texture to it, the right flow of the flame. I'm gonna start on the rocks now and I'm gonna do dark orange and then once I'm done applying this first layer right on top of that I'm gonna add a brownish color and like I said I'm not saying that this is the right way of doing it this is like the way I see it the way I know it's gonna work out for me and I'm going with what I feel I'm just taking you guys through my thought process of how I would execute this bonfire. Now, let's do the reflection on the ground. I'm just gonna do, if I was doing texture exactly, I would do the same exact thing. I'm just pretending I'm doing texture, going on top of the blank areas that I left. Open here, negative space, and right in between that. Boom, 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 and I'm gonna fade it out slowly. The way I'm fading it out, I'm just separating the, the dots. Now to complete it, I'm just gonna dip it on my brown and then my darkest gray. And then right on that bottom, boom, there we go. High contrast right on the bottom right there brown and darkest gray and lastly yellow I end, I'm I ended up just grabbing another 14 round liner because I didn't want to mix whatever was in the other needle with the pure yellow because I need this to be really bright so I'm just using a new one
so I ended up doing the background and doing all the circles and the eyes because I feel that like it was like a, a boring, it's the boring part of the tattoo so I didn't need to explain anything. So I said I'm just gonna do it and I'm just gonna record once I get to the fun part. Now we got to the fun part, doing the texture on the mask. And I'm gonna be using a 14 round liner. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the reference right here so you guys can see that the face is pretty soft. It has texture, but in a different way. I'm gonna execute it the way I feel like it's gonna stand out, which is with the technique that I've been doing, that I've been showing you guys almost in every single video. I'm gonna be running my machine once again at 5.0. I'm gonna start with my solid black first. Pure black, right here. I gotta make sure that the contrast is there, so I'm gonna add a little bit more than than what the reference is showing me, because I need to I need this to glow. Look at that! Look at that. look at this technique! Look at this technique! Whoa! I want to make it look like it's like scratch and and old. You know what I mean? Give it that effect. So the transition that I'm gonna make from this solid black to my gray is gonna be dramatic. And this is my medium gray. I get a lot of questions regarding if I use an ink set or if I if I mix my own grays and the answer is I mix my own grays and I mix it with star bright whites and solid ink lining black those are the two that I mix and my tones change depending on the piece that I'm doing it's never the same the same formula you know because people say what's your formula for your tattoos and it's really hard to say because it's always changing I see the contrast, I study the contrast, and I determine what I'm going to be using. To make it look a little bit more smooth here in this transition, I went into my medium gray and dipped it once on my solid black, and I'm going in in between here, just to give it a smoother trans, uh, transition. Right there, you see that? Nice. There you go. So that, I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing that for the rest of the whole mask.
Okay. YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen. <laughs> so we finally completed the, uh, the whole piece. It's 7.43 right now. We started almost at 12. We took about an hour break, so maybe a seven hour piece. Yeah. About a seven hour piece for sure. What was the most painful part about the whole tattoo? The most, um, probably down here, man. The ankle area? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, no, nobody can really see. Yeah, the ankle yes. area. Just because there are so many layers that were associated with it, yeah. but it looks beautiful. I mean, it's worth every moment of pain. I love it, you know? Well, I'm glad you ended up taking this day. Me too, thank you for having <laughs> me. And I was, honestly, when I posted that on, on Instagram, I was kind of hesitated, hes hesitant? Yeah. Hesitant. Hesitant? That sounds weird. I, how do you say it? Yeah, you're right. You hesitant? It. Hesitant. Yeah, yeah, hesitant. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds dude. funny. Don't, don't ever be afraid to, to pronounce your T's. That's yeah. the problem. Hesitant. Yeah, most people, yeah, you just, you're just enunciating the T's a little more. Hesitant. Articulating. Articulated. Articulated. <laughs> hesitant. <laughs> it's a tent. Hell yeah. It's beautiful. Other than that, this is today's session, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like now and show you guys a review. Thank you, my man. Thank Appreciate you very you. much. Appreciate you.